Hey everybody, this is Jason. Um, the Dakota Access Pipeline, the protests seem to have worked and the um, Army Corps of Engineers has decided to um, not approve the permit for the current route of the pipeline. They're going to look for a reroute of the pipeline. Now, most people believe um, that this is a victory. This is because if you if you did if you went to independent media and you actually saw how many protesters were there and by the way it wasn't just independent media it was also Yahoo was talking about it CNN MSNBC et cetera et cetera et cetera but one news organization wasn't discussing it As a matter of fact they didn't report on it virtually at all during this whole time this pipeline protests have been going on guess which news source and it gets a hundred million views hundred almost a billion views you know if you believe Matt Drudge hundreds of millions of views a month. It's the Drudge Report. In fact, the Drudge Report was more concerned about the elections in in Europe and the rave uh, that may have killed 40 people than it was about a pipeline being stopped. Literally a pipeline being ground to a halt in North Dakota. Indigenous people and veterans and the left got together, organized in a massive way. And as I was saying, if you saw the pictures that independent media was showing, there were thousands of protesters there, and it was growing, and they were getting support, financial and otherwise, from other people. People want change. You don't. We're in the we're in the middle of it. We're seeing. We're living in the middle of, of We're always living in the middle of history, but we really are living in the middle of the history now. This will be talked about in in, in 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 decades. This time period, not just because of this Dakota pipeline, obviously, but all the stuff that's changing. We're watching it change. You, you can see the world, you can see the country, America, changing. And this was a sign of that. They could not build that pipeline, and they knew it. You can't go to, once the veterans showed up, once the, these veterans have now decided that they're going to be involved, and they're taking their tactics, their nonviolent tactics, and helping out, once that help happens, once people that are liberal, that have a little bit of money start donating, which is happening, you're going to see actions like this and, and, and people are tired of unnecessary things being built. You know, oil is 50 bucks a barrel right now. We don't need a pipeline that goes through, we don't need any new pipelines, period, at all, ever. But because of capitalism and profit, you must always make a profit, make more and more profit, blah, blah, blah. So this is a real, in my opinion, this is a victory of civil action. But to the right wing, it's not a victory, okay? Because people like Matt Drudge aren't reporting about it. He doesn't even have it reported on his, on his uh, go check it out. Go check out the Drudge Report. And I talk about the Drudge Report all the time. But this shows to me, number one, Drudge is consumed with gay Republicans, <laughs> obviously because Matt Drudge is a closet homosexual, and um, he's consumed with, with racial politics, the race card, constantly, meaning the show Empire. He literally has a report on Empire's ratings. No other show on television but Empire. But then he'll show the ratings for Empire. He'll say, yeah, the Empire, the ratings for the show Empire, because it's an all-black show. Why does Matt Drudge care about the, the show Empire, and why is it on his, on his channel, when he doesn't even, or on his page, when he doesn't report about anything else? This guy helped get Donald Trump elected. There's no denying it. He was a big reason why those people in the Midwest voted for Donald Trump, and those, those conservatives vote for Donald Trump, because they, they go to Drudge, and they, and they listen to that propaganda bullshit that Matt Drudge spews. And not to have even a mention of the Dakota Access Pipeline um, victory, and it is a victory, is shallow and superficial and shows exactly what Matt Drudge is. And as if you needed this to show you what Matt Drudge is. But to show the elections, what, what is it, Italy? He's showing the elections in, in, in Europe and not talking about the things that are going on in America. And meanwhile, he'll talk literally ad nauseum about Donald Trump and about that he lied about the carrier deal. He hasn't reported that Donald Trump gave $7 million in tax subsidies from the state of Indiana, more than Mike Pence. Mike Pence only wanted to give $1.7 million in tax subsidies when he was governor and, and, and pulled that eventually because carrier wanted more. So Donald Trump goes into Indiana, gives him $7 million of Indiana taxpayers' money when they can't afford it to keep a, to keep a thousand jobs, 300 of which are corporate, 600, 600,000 of which, I mean, that's good for them, but it's, but at the end of the day, there's no guarantee that they'll have a job from a year from now. They have no guarantee of employment anywhere past, um, six months to a year. And it doesn't give them any guarantee in pay. It doesn't give them any guarantee in anything other than just Donald Trump having, having to get a, an op and Matt Drudge helped him get this photo op, get this right off the bat. See, 
Donald Trump making deals. America great again. He even had that, Matt Drudge, or the Drudge Report had that slogan. America great again, carrier staying. America great again, Ford, the Ford plant staying. The huge subsidies that he gave to the Ford, the Ford thing. That they've kept the details of that even more private. The... <clears throat> and now you see with the how bi- how pro business anti anti people of color Matt Drudge is Matt Drudge is a is part of that <clears throat> alter- alternative right wing racist nightmare shit. I mean everybody I-, I wouldn't be the first to say this. I've heard many people say this from Dave Emery to I've said it. The alternative right is a racist. I mean from Alex Jones, David Duke, all of the from the Jeff Rences of the world to the people for all those people in the New Age movement. All those people from coast to coast, AM, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all of them are hardcore right wing racists. Most of them are, I mean, that's their, they are racist to a ridiculous degree. And they're against anybody who's against business. And they don't mind prumping up the Ben Carsons of the world or the token blacks of the world because the Armstrong Williams or what was his name? What's his name? Larry. What's his name? That douchebag that's on that the one that uh, I mean, if you need a black person to 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 go and attack other black people, you go to him, Larry Elders or whatever his name is. Um, these are this and the, and and Drudge shows how racist he is and shows. I mean, it's not just the economic part of it that he supports capitalism unabashedly and it supports the oil industry and is owned by the Koch brothers and those interests and the oil interests of this country paid for bought and paid for. But then he doesn't even support the indigenous peoples. It shows that it, that it, that he doesn't care. And then to report on. There's, you know, every black show that comes out and every time a black person does anything with any kind of success, he immediately or 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 Leah Dunham, <laughs> Lena Dunham, the woman who came, the, created the show Girls. It's either black people in their shows, Matt Drudge Attacks or Lena Dunham. <laughs> One of the two for I don't understand why I don't, his obsession is so shallow and so superficial and 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 then promotes the worst kind of shit. And by the way, what happened to Zika? Hey, Matt, hey, Drudge Report, what the fuck happened to the Zika virus? I thought the Zika virus was going to kill us all. Or I thought Brazil was going to, was the worst fucking place ever in the history of the planet Earth during the Olympics, and we have to do something about it, and it's got to be, and there's dead bodies washing. What happened to that? Oh, we're just done with that now? We're not talking about Brazil anymore? The Olympics are over? What happened to the, what, 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 the next, um, I mean, he, he literally lied Donald Trump into getting, to being president. Because what, you want to talk about fake news. You know, the big story right now is fake news. Matt Drudge is the king of fucking fake news. <laughs> the fucking unabashed king of fake news. Of stories that are misleading in the titles and you click on them and there'll be some other shit. Or, or they'll, And they won't be from AdSense or anything ridiculous, you know, clickbait kind of stuff. They'll be from, the, from Vanity Fair or some reputable source. He'll just mislead you on what the actual article says. I mean, Drudge, for him not to report on this Dakota Pipeline just shows what kind of a racist piece of shit Matt Drudge is. What kind of a racist piece of shit, and he's the editor of that piece of shit, uh, how they don't give a fucking shit about freedom or democracy or truth or justice or even good ju- even good old-fashioned, you know, um, uh, muckraking journalism. You know, he wears that fedora like he's fucking Edward R. fucking Murrow and shit, like he, you know, like he's Walter Winchell, <laughs> like he thinks he's Walter fucking Winchell, and I've referred to him as the gay Walter Winchell, and that's what Matt Drudge is, and by the way, I don't care if he's gay, I don't give a fuck who you have sex with, but I do care the fact that he goes out of his way to bash people who are different, and yet clearly has his own fucking stable of fucking, of, 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 of skulls and fucking bones in his massive walk-in closet, in his, you know, in his two-story walk up in downtown, uh, you know, Chelsea. <laughs> I mean, are we to believe that Matt Drudge is straight? Are we to believe that he's, I mean, he's obsessed with gay Republican, Republican bloggers, gay Republicans. He couldn't be more obsessed with a gay Republican bloggers. He just, he just, it's constant. He talks about them constantly. And, and I mean, and again, just shows this, this, you know, reporting more about these raves. And by the way, I'm sorry for anybody who lost somebody in the rave or whatever, but that's 40 people in a rave. You know, in, I mean, it's at a fucking party. You know, forty people in a country of three hundred twenty. When he's when we when we just saw a pipeline, literally, when we saw social action stop business and get the government to change its mind. Because if those protesters weren't there, if those water protectors weren't there, if those veterans hadn't flown in, if the, if the, if this hadn't assembled to this kind of massive this massive outpouring of people. They would just have built it through. They would have just punched it through and been done with it. And they would have they would have built it under the Missouri River, and everything would have been every uh, pipeline. And when it leaked inevitably, because that's what pipelines do is they leak. I'm from the state of fucking the biggest one of the biggest pipelines in the world, and it leaks constantly. 
you fucking have you'll have the Missouri River polluted, and then they'll just say, well, you know what? We're sorry we killed off billions of fish and populations and and and, and animals in that area. We're, our bad. Sorry, we shouldn't have built it under there. We'll change it. We'll build we'll build it somewhere else. And instead, now they have to go find another place to build it. And I think that's a great thing. And for Matt Drudge not to report on it shows you exactly who he is. It shows you he's not for the people. He's not the alternative right. Isn't for you. It isn't for me. It isn't for the working class. It's a racist, pro business, anti human. And everything is for profit. Everything is good if it's money. Everything is good if it's in the American military industrial complex, CIA, FBI, NSA propaganda arm bullshit nightmare. <laughs> that c- continually just disinforms the American people and is more popular than ever. Thank you for listening.